So, right then, let's try this again. Use a Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Let's see, I'll see if we can get in the game. This being some little bit of a rough, ruffle tuffle. Um, let's skip the intro here. Uh, you know what? Can I? Yo, let's start from the beginning again. Let's see. So yeah, I just felt like playing this game. I haven't played this since uh, back in 2012. Well, the original I played then. Really loved it. Maybe it was 2013. Yeah, really lovely great platformer in the Super Mario genre. Or in the platform genre maybe. In the franchise, Super Mario World franchise, or Super Mario franchise franchise. And the I was thinking I just wanted to try to run through this and in a quick manner, see how how, how many episodes it might take, how long it would take for me to get to the game. Because when it came out, I played it for 100% to get every collectible, all the levels and stuff like that. Played it so much uh, when it when I got it here on the, like the 23rd of December that I had to plug in and charge my Wii U controller. It's around three hour marks, uh, the battery ran out. I think I did like a six hour session. That's a really complete everything. So hopefully I can get some muscle memory back. Just run through like the main courses. I do know there is a path you can choose water or ice. Not sure which path I want to go for. And obviously, again, for full disclosure, uh, is running this on Rai... No, Yuzu, there we go. Which is a Switch emulator, and I just love the sharpness and the upscaling and uh, being able to use any controller you want and remap any way you want it, uh, not being forced to the main like, Nintendo way. Can I get you? So I don't think there's any like rebinding settings. All right, we're going trying to go fast, uh, and I also don't think that you can buffer like acorns. So come on, I gotta warm up a little bit. We are just going to try here and run this and see how it's going to go. Whoa, I completely missed that enemy. Um, but yeah, runs great, looks great. It's a great game. Uh, let's do... Or why not? Okay. I will be trying to stick to the acorn. That is just um, something I'm gonna lose immediately. But yeah, that is definitely the the best power up. Uh, we are going to take any power up anyways because that is kind of like a lie. So if you get hit, you don't immediately lose. Um, you can get a Yoshi. Yoshi. I uh, don't think I'm gonna go for Yosh, Yoshi. Yoshi, Yoshi. Ah, uh, this was probably slower. Yes, it could have been safer.
hopefully there won't be too many game overs. I'm a little bit scared for uh, the ghost house. Uh, since it's been so long since I played, so I might not remember the path to take to get out of the level. And the ghost has have two paths. So, I believe almost all the ghost house has two, two paths out at least, so... There is a good chance that you might end off in the wrong path. If I get a warp uh, to like warp stages, I don't think I want to do that. I want to go through like the main set of uh, levels. I want to do two hour episodes of this game. Just to get it a little bit more going and I'm... I think that everyone is, you know, they know this already, so probably don't want to, like, uh, won't generate as much views. Oh, that's just cool, man. <laughs> Right, so you can get use your items on this map, not in the stages, and you can't buffer the acorns, right, and nothing. So let's see. This is definitely like what I feel is going to be like a graphically nice game, um, and what I mean by that is just like Super Mario World. And uh, in some ways, Super Mario Brothers 3, uh, that's going to age well. Do we need to... Oh, wrong way. So basically, you have a fire or a run button, that's the same button. You also have this uh, kind of twirl. Really I like that mechanic here. Oh, that was a secret. This might also be a seeker. No, good. Uh, those rings will give you a power up if you you if you touch them, and then uh, they will spawn eight coins that you need to collect. So another thing that I think Mario games does really well is difficulties. Is it's very feasible for you know most people, and they ramp up in a nice way. But uh, definitely, like, to do 100% isn't that easy. It's not one of the most, uh, like, challenging in the games, but it has a nice challenge. And I think it ramps the difficulty up to the 8th level really nicely. For 8th world. Now I gotta remember... Oh right, I have fire, but... Not sure. Okay, I timed that wrong. There we go. Mario and this will not be a deathless run or anything like that or playthrough. Because um, <laughs> I definitely died a few times in the later level, so. We're gonna save obviously since I'm not I'm not certain that I will make it to like in one sitting in like one three hour video so that's why I'm going to uh, like make several videos here. Pound pound is jumping and then oh come on uh, and then pressing down so the controls are you know the, the they aren't advanced, but they are very good. It just showcases uh, a game that dominates so right with a nice amount of controls. Not trying to just push everything 
not just trying to have as many controls as possible. This is an extra light, no? Okay, mushroom. Oh man. Hmm, could have been a fire flower if I would have waited with picking that up. Okay, that's... Huh. That was an interesting... Oh, hello, Yoshi. Interesting hitbox. So, Yoshi is great because he can stomp on multiple enemies that Mario can't. And if you get hit while using Yoshi, you will... You won't lose your power up or something. You will just... Um, Yoshi will just be scared. And you can get power-ups if the last two digits are the same at the end of the level, then this will happen. We'll get one one type of power-up. Um, I don't think they are random, I think it is different power-ups per different last two digits. I don't think I'm gonna go for the Yoshi to the right. We're gonna go continue on, yes. Might be a mistake, I don't know. Again, keeping a Yoshi with you, you pick the one from the right, can definitely be do be good. We are gonna keep doing it. So the biggest thing that might, you know, end up making me lose a life is me just trying to go <laughs> too fast. Which often is the case, especially since I don't... Uh, yeah. I I don't remember like all the levels and played this in a long time. And... So yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna lose life just because I'm trying to go fast and think there is a jump that I can make or something. And then just ending up losing it. I probably could have done that stage. The pir piranhas. Is it? No, it's not piranha. Yeah, piranha plant. Right? Uh, that could have gained me uh, a power. There we go. So, going fast, we want this one. And these are things where I could end up losing because I'm thinking that... Well, I'm gonna make it, so let's just jump. And since I don't remember the levels... That might not be the case. <laughs> That's why we want this, this A corner. So that we can uh, <laughs> ooh, use the safety and many levels you have a power up just by the like boss door. Like the recording is smooth and nice, so that's good. Okay, this might be a little bit tougher boss, alright? Hey, come here, come here. And if you memorize how many times they bounce one, they bounce two, you can do a quick kill. One. Oh, there we go. Whoa. They have different 
amount of times they like it bounce back and forward but if you memorize again if i would have played it recently and i i if i would have had like memorized it it could have been, i could have just been uh, more precise about it but yeah this is obviously a nice easy world to just get through good introduction to the game to the mechanics Yay! and stuff but can still be interesting if you want to go for like 100% and get all the um, gold coins because they can be quite interesting get uh, like those to collect and to locate some so oh, there are eight worlds and this is world two Areas where it can start becoming a little bit more interesting. Where it's could be happening like uh, me just rushing to through a little bit too quickly and just having to lose my power up or life just because I'm trying to be in a hurry. And I guess this is. Uh, Inspired by the, again the game's done quick the whoa the first step show I don't remember if they played this one or they might they played some of these like the, oh man okay the Mario games I don't, I don't think I'm gonna beat their time I don't remember how long it took them if it was like two hours or they went for the three hour mark. Um, but I think they played like the, the Wii U version, not the, the Switch version of this. I don't think there's any difference, any big difference. At least not level-wise. Maybe they played the, the Switch version. Because um, I think you can swap characters, if I remember correctly. Can you do that? They all have different lives or life count. And uh, the character there, if you go for that one, I believe that's the easy mode. It pretty much makes you invincible. Um, you can go to the menu, we have items. Yeah, right, you can change the character. And they have different life counts. So if I'm about to game over, I could switch a character. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it the classical way and just game over instead. And right, you can see that. Let's read the quick save. I guess we're not gonna do that either unless we we get to the later part of the game. And it's uh, kind of <laughs> beats me up too much. You never know. You never know. It could make. You, oh, maybe this wasn't the right level. Because there were two levels there, and some levels can be easier and some can be more challenging. No, we don't want that one. So we, I'm gonna take a little bit slower because I think it's gonna be faster in the end. Oh, come on. Really didn't want to lose that. Ah, oh, okay, then here, are, here I am showing you exactly what I meant with uh, me just... Me just jumping could cause some interesting things. Hmm. That was a more tricky than I remember. And a Yoshi will help. There we go, okay. Oh yeah, this was not the best. Not the best level, since I don't remember it. 
Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Should have gone the other way around. Taking the path to the right side. We made it through. So I want to go for top of the flagpole to get as many lives as possible because you get an extra life uh, if you hit the top of the flagpole and also if you collect 100 coins. Yeah. And uh, most of you will probably already know this, but why not? Why not rush up on it and uh, yes. if if someone happens to watch this and haven't, why not? And they will know now. And I do believe you get an extra life for the coins too. Maybe I'm wrong. Or like collecting the three golden coins. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what I did wrong there. Again, I... Getting like the all the gold coins can actually be more challenging than you think. Um, yeah, no. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to wait for that one. Maybe I didn't. Uh, oh well, let's just continue on here. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, we are back. The flag also is a save point or checkpoint. So that will give you. As long as you have lives, you will start from that point in the level. And also able to pick up those one maybe i oh right you use maybe i can't pick them up when i'm in oh. interesting i need to use my shoot button and my little twirly twirly okay I believe this is a cannon, so let's hope we make it. And we do. Let's see if there is a fire upgrade. There is. And by holding jump, when you land off an enemy, you will do an extra high jump. Good to know. Do -do -do. You can jump on pretty most enemies maybe but not the ones that has uh, like spikes and stuff like this one this enemy or piranha plants you know probably would have been fast to just keep shooting him. I don't remember how many fireballs he takes. Might try that in another castle. The story wise, this is very simple, obviously. I think you got that without explanation, but each has been taken by the evil Bowser, and now we are going through the levels to, to save her. What? 
Oh, come on. <laughs> so, yeah, the enemies on the world map, they are mini, like, just stage like this, and you get a power up from it. And the penguin makes you swim, and you can glide on the ice with the penguin, penguin if I remember correctly. I think I missed... Um, I missed one of the power up, power up houses. Oh no! Okay, this should be hopefully not the baddest other one. Even though I haven't died yet, obviously this is just a world 2, so we will die soon. We probably should farm alive. Uh, let's check this one out. Well, that was a waste of time here. Maybe I shouldn't do this one, but they are fun to us to show off. So, um, these baby Oshis are hungry for panel. Okay, bring, bring one baby Oshi of ease. Color. Interesting. I think I've done this one. Hmm. I think this is uh, for uh, this is a new edition for this uh, updated Switch version here. was not in the Wii U version and with them with them certain um okay so which way do we wanna go? I think this is the wrong choice but we're gonna I think this is a might be an auto scroller or something like that in the in this or up in the sky or something. It was one of the sky levels. Okay yeah this this is definitely uh level that I might use a life both because I want to go fast and because you die as soon like if you oh, you step off obviously you will fall off and that will oh that was oh, yeah if you fall off obviously you will completely lose all your life, so this is definitely the power up you want for this level. Yeah, and here we have an auto scroller part. If you're really good um, at speedrunning this game, I think I've seen uh, in someone. Maybe not this version, but the original. They can just fly through it so quickly with. Especially with this power up. Definitely really fascinating. I'm nowhere close to the speed.
And obviously you've seen that goats, houses and castles, uh, they save. So that meaning that if you, you lose uh, all your lives, whoa, um, on a on a stay on a castle or a ghost house, you will go back a few levels. Uh, is it two, one, two, maybe three levels sometimes? Uh, probably should have saved this one. Yeah, I saw that coming. You can get steal his cloud by bouncing him off. Well, let's just do this then. Uh, also, by doing three jumps in a row, you will do a little bit of a more higher jump. If that wasn't clear by just looking at the, the gameplay. Definitely the, the gameplay and the graphics that stands, stands out to me. Uh, the audio is fine and everything, but... Uh, I don't think it's as good as just the pure... That's the pure game play. Yeah, we are soon gonna have my first death. I'm pretty certain here. Starting to get more and more tricky. And this is definitely one of the levels where it like gets squished. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make it a little bit slower. Ah, damn it, I saw that one. There's also obviously if you can see a time limit the levels. Ah, oh, crap. But mostly the time limit uh, aren't going to be a huge problem. Unless you're going for 100% collecting and stuff like that. Then I can see it being more of a problem. Okay, damn it. And the warp points or warp levels are let's see, let's wait. Are secret types uh, I believe that you can find. Oh, oh that one. Here we go. We're doing fine here. So yeah. Let's see if we do a two-hour video to see how far we come. This level two. That attack. One. Ooh. Okay, so three times. Bounce once. Two. And bounce three. Makes it a lot easier if you find your jumping right. Goes for Every time you will hit, like stomp on an enemy or the, the boss, it will get more difficult attack.
four. So, doo -doo -doo. I think we don't want to do the water levels. Um, I might regret this. I'm not sure. Definitely not sure, but ice levels, they can be quite tricky. Um, not if you can keep your momentum, but if you lose your momentum, it can quickly go south. Another Yoshi! Yoshi! So yeah, if you can keep the momentum, momentum, uh, snow levels I think is mostly fine, but if you stop losing the momentum, that's when bad things happen. Ah, oh, okay. I was thinking I could make that. You can do this if you crouch up, maybe I messed that one up. Okay. It's also nice that uh, the levels kind of, when you switch worlds or get to new world, I feel like the first levels, uh, they go back a little bit step in difficulty to like give you a breathing room. And then they progressing to be, uh, they can progress to be more difficult, more challenging. Uh, yeah, this is fine, so. As you can see here, keeping your momentum is really great. Because then Ice Phase 6 doesn't really become a factor if you just keep jumping. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do that in all of these levels if I'm remembering correctly. There are some things coming up where a fire flower actually could have been better. We are going to come to uh, our first, soon to our first ghost house. Again, those can also be quite interesting. Okay. Oof. I forgot about that. Oh, damn. Yeah. And here we have it. My first death when I'm just... Kind of like going a little bit too fast, maybe. Um... Do I have something that I don't want to... Like... That I don't find is super important? Maybe this one. So if there is an acorn in this level, I would like to get it. Ah, it's not. Okay. So now when we can't use our glide, it's definitely going to be a little bit more interesting trying to keep the momentum going. Oh, not that again. Um, do I agree with that hitbox there? This is where the mistakes are becoming an effector. It's, uh, it's just so much easier to do mistakes as you progress, uh, trying to go fast. But sometimes going fast can also help you out of a jam, because you just push by something that you couldn't really even see. So.
You know what? Let's check. All right. So if you look at the um, bubbles coming, that kind of gives you a hint of, of when there's going to be uh, crap, uh, something falling down. It's also very easy to get squished. You're not careful enough, in the, especially in a section like this. So. Good speedrunner, you can pretty much, I believe, almost all. Uh, not again, like skip most, maybe not, maybe, maybe most of the, like this uh, section, which is uh, definitely impressive. Well, that was a terrible mistake. There we go, we're gonna use that. No power up. There we go. Not all, uh, all like bosses has uh, one before them, but uh, many have. You going to fly again, or? You know what? Let's just... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, what? Um... Huh. I really felt that I could have had the timing, but I guess not. Hmm. Crap, yeah, here we're gonna lose another life, I'm pretty certain of it. <laughs> An ice level and with oh, Yeah, I should have gone to the water level. Holy crap. Um, can we do... This might be the level where having a fire flower would have been good if you didn't lose it like I did. Oh, 
Not certain how I've only lost one life so far. We are gonna shake a little bit extra for our ups. That's going to be needed. Oh. Ah. Week. You know what? Do we want this? Maybe I can't get this now. No. Damn it. was the lie. This was just a waste of time the previous time, so... Okay, it's the same thing here. Hmm. Actually, quite a tricky one. Ah, oh, crap. I could just, uh, like, hide away. Um... Now, since I have gotten like two extra lives, ah. Oh. Yeah, this might be good. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Four lives? Ah, oh, that's nice. So I'm farming early because later on it's going to be necessary. Um hmm. Oof. Might have taken the wrong path again. Probably should use the pendulum. I die. Because this is an eye stage. I don't know if you uh I don't know if he has, like, no ice physics? Ah, press jump there. Oh, okay, do not do that. Yeah, let's try the penguin here. I don't think this, this is uh, maybe, like... The Mario world, where you have a pretty like crazy in low input lag, then obviously modern TVs and everything, they can have a little bit more of a delay than some, but sometimes could make you jump just a tad bit missed, even though you are, or he pretty much should be hitting the jump. Not saying that any of my jumps have been so, but. Yeah. Okay, let's see, can I do okay? Ah, oh, crap. I should not have gone for that. That's just lost me time. There definitely are quite a nice little amount of power up, so... Could have made that one. The la last jump. Oh yeah. Mario time. Do, 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 do. Yep. So let's see, this is world three, right? In about one hour, maybe a little bit over an hour. Maybe about 
halfway through in two hours. And yeah, oh god, an auto scroller. Uh, quite the brutal. Okay, not the auto scroller. So here I need to take their correct exit. Otherwise... Um, I will not progress the, in the normal way. I do not remember this. No clue what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I think there is something with this one. Is it this one? It might be. Or not. Ah, oh, no. Hey, get lost. Yeah, I'm not definitely not a fan of uh, the ghost houses. Uh, come on. There we go. And now we need to jump all of the goings. Oh, come on. What? This is going absolutely terrible. Can I get this to go down one? Yeah. Um, I think this was the way, right way out, but yeah. Ghost houses are definitely my nemesis. I think I'm gonna wanna try to buffer the, um, the acorn for later. Okay, so we do remember, we go this way. Wait for it, wait for it, now. And then we wanted the top one. Okay, we're gonna wait a cycle here. You can farm a lot of lives here, pretty easy, if you know what you're doing. Yes. Hey, we are doing good, we're doing good. Did this goddamn part. Ah, come on, not again. Thank you. Hope this is the right one. It could be the wrong. Again, you. Some. I think it, some, if not all, of this uh, has multiple uh, exits. Oh, yeah. Doing pretty good, though. Just uh, like two lives lost so far, so. Yeah, that's nice. Who is it now? It's three lives. Three or four lives. Okay, we need to time this one right so we can get... <laughs> Otherwise you're gonna do one of those bonus stages. You get a power up, but they can be very easy to die for me. It's this then. Oh. Ooh. The cool level, but... Definitely is very easy to be too eager. Like on that part. Ooh, 
Realize, I hopefully will get through this stage at least. Uh, it's not that crazy difficult. It's so easy in this level to just be too eager here. Like that. I think all the power ups. Do they go the same way in this one? There we go. Uh, you know what? We're gonna do this one. Oh, oh, hey. You bastard. Oh no. This one is a secret, might be, is it a, a coin or a secret exit in the level, in the pipe below where I just stopped a little bit. There we go. Mario number one. <laughs> Don't think that fire flower is gonna help me that much on the bosses like this. Maybe on the mini board. Yeah, smook, smook up. <laughs> Are you sure? See my peach. Get smoked. I don't think it's been clear, right? But uh, I don't think, like, you think about it that each and Mario just are good friends. They are, are a couple, really? I don't think this has been a, Maybe the Nintendo movie, the Super Mario movie, will clear that one up. Oh, right. And here we're gonna come to where the levels can really just hit you. You just do stupid mistakes. And not, not hopefully not this auto scroller, but the levels after that one. Uh, not the level, but the world. Oh, you are kidding me. But yeah, definitely the auto scrollers can very much. Make you very easy lose. Oh, there we go. Do some stupid mistakes so you lose uh, unnecessary lives. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get the oh, no. coins. <laughs> oh no, water scrollers. Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna see more and more like stupid mistakes this happening. Um, maybe one or a couple of game overs, or maybe a lot. There we go. Oh, 
Probably might not have needed to do it if I just wouldn't have uh, losing my power before the end. Trying to remember if this is the water boss. Yeah, it is. Oh. that power up. No, come on. Ooh. Yeah, this boss is going to be quite something. boost. Whoa. I really would like to keep all my power-ups here. Ooh. Don't want to redo this <laughs> long level here. And yeah, this is a interesting boss. A little bit different mechanic here underwater. One to hit this annoying one. Oh, okay. that is just not nice. So we need to lower it and then we want to go. Okay. Ah. Now the game is just being crude. There we go. Easy. This is why we need a, need a power up. We <laughs> interesting boss fight here. Now we come to World 4, which is uh, really nice. Just like in Super Mario Bros. 3, I believe, this is like the big world, which has some big enemies and stuff like that. And uh, also, at least, I think it's one auto scroller. And uh, again, it's, it's slowly ramping up the difficulty. So, you know, it's, it's a really nicely done. Is it a saving? Yes. Go. 
Bungle of the Giants. Yeah, I really like the concept here. Um... <laughs> Um, but it's going to be quite easy to just... Quite easy to mess up here. You now what? Let's do that. Boom. going to be very wise for me to be a little bit cautious. Because in the long run I probably will save time doing so. Oh no. Yes. Slow. It's not gonna be good in the end. Super slow. Yeah. Oh right, this is for the flag. Oh well. I should have not uh, bumped from, from below. I should have just tried to jump up. And it means just bounce all the way forward. I do always want to try to get the top of the flagpole again for lives. Now this is the thing. I don't remember which level is better here. This might be a more challenging level. And this might be a more brutal level. But let's just try here. My instinct wanted to go right towards the little green extra life, so let's try this one instead. Oh, and it's the auto scroller or no. Okay. No, right. Oh, yes. Acorn. I think the auto scroller is uh, four, not forced, but uh, one that you can't skip by getting a choice. You have to do it. Might be wrong. We'll see. Yeah, really cool layout of the, how the level works here, but definitely could be a place where you start losing a little bit of, oh crap, lives. Didn't need it. And then also here, it can be quite easy to overextend my floating ability. I just go way too... Oof. Okay. Eyes are going up, not down yet. That's nice. It's actually quite fun here today. I'm doing a little bit of a fasting. It's fun to do sometimes, so something you, I don't recommend to everyone but it could also be very fun to try and uh, 24 hours uh, without oh this is an auto scroller yeah, so without uh, eating right now and uh, oh, after around 16 hours you should see start getting some like benefits not for weight loss per se but it could help with your body doing getting rid of other like byproduct and uh, Spells uh, that refreshing, like refresh your system a little bit, is what I've read up, and it's also is very fun. Whoa, because I think that many people, when they start getting hungry, they start feeling like, okay, now I'm gonna lose all my thinking ability, I'm gonna be able to 
do normal thing. Uh, which not definitely not is the case. Um, I did do... Um, I think I'm doing one more. Oh right, this is where it has a secret exit. I did a, not secret, but an exit. Oh, and I missed that one. But yeah, it's not that case. You will get to one point of hunger. They can fluctuate a little bit up and down. And um, but then it will pretty much stay. You can still, you know, go for walks a little bit. Um, you shouldn't do too crazy physical activities if you're not you're not certain about what you are. Oh no! <laughs> certain about what you wanna do or achieve with your fasting. Uh, but yeah, it's very interesting. Obviously, if you have uh, problems with like eating disorder or anything, you should definitely, in all cases, avoid that. But you know. It has been 24 fasting now, and I can definitely feel that, you know, wouldn't be wrong with the eating. But it's not getting worse, and I can still play here. Not, not, you know, losing my focus. I am doing a very easy fasting, I'm not going for longer walks or anything. So... I can of just binge... The, what was it? The call. I have to remember, it was something on Netflix. No, not Netflix, Prime. With Chloe Grace Mortis. Uh, that's definitely good to, to do when you, if you want to try fast. Yes, okay, I'm gonna have a few days, or just, it don't have to be a few days, like just a 24 hour thing. But make sure that you have something light to do. So you're not like. I'm gonna have to do physical work here. I should have taken the easy exit out again here. There is one apparently right by the start. But yeah, it definitely was it. Like, pretty much all my life I've always had three meals. Uh, at least. And... Uh, oh, I did the same freaking thing again. And... Uh, really fun. And I tried it the first time, like, to see that, well, I am hungry here, but it's not getting worse. And obviously that is because your body uh, wouldn't just start eating up all your muscles, because you need to be able to, like, count in the, you know, that's, that's how it, uh, you know, one of our main thing. We maybe didn't have food all the times. So obviously... You know, your body can't just start may taking rid of all of your muscles and stuff like that because it can't function. And the same obviously we do for whoop, like being able to think, yeah, stuff like that. And again, you would it would make it difficult to you to hunt. No, oh, thank God. Yeah, I was thinking just could be a fitting time here to, to do. So we'll see uh, if I can do, and if I'm gonna do a 48 hour, or maybe just uh, 36 hours in. promote fasting or anything like that um, but it might be something just for fun to look in or fun to try once in your life to do a two, 24 or 2 hour or maybe 36 hour fasting and to just see how your body will respond and how your mind will respond to it This again. 
think a member. Hey, Rick. Don't think it's the top door. No, it's not. If this door could be. Right, I think this is the correct first door to do. Uh, we might have hit it like the peak with the exit or not. series I was thinking about. I think it was uh, the the Peripheries? Peripheries? <laughs> Something like that. Okay. It's gonna be... Is the correct exit? It might just be one exit out of this one. this way. Hmm. Oh right, this is where you need to take the secret exit, I believe. It, oh god. Oh crap. Yeah, we're probably gonna spend a few lives on this map. Trying to remember. Yep. Oh, new. Trying to remember. You do. Okay, it's not. Might not be the level I was thinking of. Still. Water level and the ghost level. Should not have done that. And why we just lost lives. For no apparent reason. Holy crap, that was close. Uh, want this one. Right, because of that. Hey, come on, don't. Is it still going up? That's nice. Oof. Oof. I'm doing him pretty good here, I think, so far. Yeah, okay, so this is where we need 
get the secret exit. I don't remember the secret exit on that one. Oh crap. I'm switching because I'm hoping this is not a water level. Um, okay, this is the one I remember. I think I remember at least. Not exactly 100, but a little bit of hope that I can remember where the exit, the secret exit is where we need to take. I think it is pretty close to like the middle one. Um, uh, like the middle, but where you get the flag. Oh. Okay, do you have any good power-ups to you? You. If I just get to the middle point, I think we might be... I might be all free to clear this level. Um, I think I remember I watched the first step and they was so... Took them a few tries, let's say that, so... Might <laughs> not the most clear and easy level. Did not have made made that yet. Yeah. Okay, so somewhere here. Not that right. Is it Ooh. Hmm. I guess I didn't remember. Are you? That's just cool, man. It's not this one, right? Let's try it. No, it's not. That's good, though. We can... We don't have to lose the lives. It is a pipe that you're supposed to jump down in. Ah, uh, uh, wait a minute, is it? No? That pipe. Okay. This it is. This gotta be it. Maybe? Or maybe not. Okay, that was not the pipe. Right, or maybe it was. Yeah! Ooh. This is random. Yeah. Um. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, not so bad. And we, yeah. What the hell is that power up? <laughs> oh. 
What? Oh, come on. I think you can get hit like three times at most. Should we go for what? Oh. Oof. Okay. That's okay. Oh the jungle. Um no what? Don't remember this. Maybe I can skip the auto scroller level. No. Uh, Well, I guess this is kind of ready to wait for a Wiggler. Yeah. Come on, can I get the power up? Thank you. So far, so good. Oh, ooh, oops. I'm not sure if I can. So this is not the auto fire I was thinking about, but it is still an auto auto not auto fire auto the scroller here. that they're the boat or what are scrollers oh, I was right I remember a little bit that you could maybe jump oh yeah Mario time yeah. Ooh, I think the other one might be the more challenging Auto scroller, that is. Auto um, laser, that's nice. Doing good. Should be good to have an acorn in this level. Feel. Ooh. Again, it felt like my input wasn't really registering correctly. Ah. What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad Koopas, bad Koopas. The lava is insta dead, if I remember correctly. Yeah. 
Yeah. Rap, I was doing so good, man. I am curious about this. Like, what the hell does this do? Oh, uh, only to that can use it. So I think that's... Isn't that like an extra easy something? We might try that on one level. Like, like an extra level or something. I uh, probably don't need this one. Let's... Let's just to see if we can uh, use it to damage boost a little bit. Pretty much just an ice flower, so... Uh, since we're not in the ice levels anymore... Fast. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, here we are starting losing lives. Uh, and probably if I just try to think about my jumps a little bit more longer and slow the pace just a tiny bit, probably would have gone better. Uh, one power up. I don't think I'm gonna get this. Nope, I'm not. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, we did. Is my nemesis here? This is where I'm gonna slow down the other a little bit. Ah uh, no. That's the secret. Uh, not secret, it's one of the coins, I think. Do you stop the video here since we are 50% true if I can make this boss that is We can try one more level, uh, well, I guess. Because then maybe the videos will be line up pretty close to each other in length wise. Casual first playthrough, I just... Uh, oh no. Oh, 
<laughs> uh, mm, I think I found uh, the the secret here without trying to, just running into it. In this world, not this level. Um, this is good. The Yoshi can. Oh! I didn't know we could do that actually. You know? Yes! Yoshi can also do that. I don't remember which... Oh, crap, it was... Ah, uh, you can jump off Yoshi, and I forgot which button it was. Ah. Oh, no. Okay. Hey, let's do this. Let's try this again, shall we? Hello, Yoshi. should try which button it is to... Whee! That's the one. Oh, come on. You don't want to lose Yoshi already. That's also the power of the Yoshi. He can stomp on enemies that Mario cannot. Uh, this is not like Super Mario World where you could uh, whoop, do like the spinny on. Okay, 40 lives. Oh yeah, Mario time! Bye, Yoshi. Now we need blue switch. Okay. Oh, this is... Semi water water level. <laughs> I 
think uh, the fish is a one hit kill that it just eats me, right? Okay, life is going back up. Nice. Oh yeah. Mario Ooh. time. this the... No, I don't think it's... Oh. You... Evil. <laughs> um... Might be, you know... No. Wondering if it could maybe be like a... That quick... A power-up. Okay, definitely ramping up a little bit here in difficulty, so... Oh, no. Yeah, lives are going back down. <laughs> okay. Oh, ho, ho. It's a good time. We have a power up. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. That's an uh, exit to the left, which you can use if you're a small Mario. Uh, no, not small, tiny Mario, I believe. I believe that to the right there is one of the coins. I think there's a coin here. No. <laughs> no. Okay, that's an interesting place for the power up. <laughs> This crew man. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know what happened there. De definitely lost my input. Uh, jumping input. So hopefully this boss is under too damaging. Have had to be the flying one. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Um, which way do we want to go? Doesn't matter. Um, Waddle Wings Nest. Light blocks Dark Tower. Um, new. Uh, 
Ah, I think we can get the... Uh... <laughs> Ox. I think we might be able to get uh, one of the... What? We do one of the flying upgrades at the acorn. There we go. If we don't get too hit here. I think that's a secret or something down below. Uh, oh, that's definitely a secret. Uh, might have been this uh, level that had the... Whoop! That had the do 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 the secret exit that I did find. That looks like there could be an exit. Oh, new. Been something to the left, you. Mario time. Forty five live. Yeah. Okay. So, do we want to do? Then we get to that. You know what? Why not? This isn't too crazy. Especially not with this power up. Never know. I believe the end is where you get a giant piranha. Be interesting. Yeah. 
I missed the pipe, so that could have been also some interesting one. You know what? We're not gonna... That was... Oh. I don't want to unlock the warps, even though it's fun to do it, so... Because then I have to uh, redo the level or use the warp. Okay, another... We might make this just slight over two hours. Make it to this... To this level. World. Maybe even just the level. Uh, I think I remember this boss. It'd be quite an interesting one, definitely. enemies. And I think that's a boss uh, in this level. One huge thumping boom boom. was a bad. <laughs> oh. Did I get the checkpoint? I didn't, right? I did. Ooh. And we messed up. Okay, that's good. Not a, not a, not a two ways of a checkpoint uh, to get from here. You bat this. Interesting. That could have been worth it, a damage boost. <laughs> oh yeah, stomping boom boom coming up. Oof. Okay. Definitely remember this being one of the more interesting bosses. You can get good luck, I believe. Come on. Why is it? Oh, right, you might not have to stomp at all. 
Let's do that for safety anyway. Oh, that's new! What is that hitbox? What? That is... oh man! I knew this was gonna happen, so... That we're gonna start leaving a little bit lively, because they are getting... Definitely interesting, so... And with interesting, I mean uh, definitely a more interesting challenge. Okay, we made it to that again. We might just do this hopefully again. Yeah! <laughs> that is amazing. There is an extra life or power up or something up here. Okay, not. There is here. Ooh. Okay, is he going to go into the middle and the right and the left, or what's going on here? I don't know what's happening with the jump. Or you do not want to jump high enough. Yeah. Time. Something is definitely eating my jump on this boss. Ah, oh, well, that sucks. Now I can't do my damage. Again. I can do this. Oh, no. Suddenly everything is just falling apart. Yeah, let's stop the video after this boss because here it's starting to ramp up a little bit. So let's see if there's gonna be one or two more we do here. I just wanted to play this, so it's still uh, it's, it's a very enjoyable. No, we're not gonna use you, Luigi. Of course. The most frustrating part is definitely this boss. It's it, uh, uh, something with the jumping there felt so, so weird. Okay, I guess you have to like jump 
straight up and then push right. Like that. You can't do... Boom. Okay. I guess. Uh, yeah, definitely is interesting. Sometimes the yum, the yum height more exactly. Oh god, why is this part getting me? I don't know, it shouldn't. Because he didn't wanna. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, are we gonna lose like 20 lives or something like that? This level? That's cruel. Again, there's something weird with the jump there, like a like a tiny double jump happening. All right, let's come on. We're on, and of course. <laughs> ah, he has one to do. Yeah, that was stupid. Now we're not gonna get this. Yep. So that means we're gonna have to fight the boss out as many. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Holy freaking mother of the boss. He is hitting a, a wall here. He's just absolutely smoking me up here. Both, well, not the boss, but the stage. Obviously, I know I can do it. Uh, I would not think it would be this much of struggle here. Now, let's do this. Now we can damage you, boost if I'm, unless I get hit too much. Go. Don't get hit here. Okay, so we can do that. Let's power through it. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That doesn't mind me. I can get this power up. I don't know why I try to not just keep through that one. 
And here we are, back again. Okay. Please don't eat my... Jumping input. And it ate my input. Like that. That is weird stuff going on. Okay, let's see. Oh, whoa! <laughs> yeah, okay. Jesus. That boss did not want to jump at all. You know what, I wanna have a peek at this level to see if it's gonna be super difficult or if I can get to it. Let's do a little bit longer video I guess, because I'm sure I'm gonna get stuck on the later levels anyway, so... Oh no... Well, that's an audio bug, so let's end it here, I guess. Oh, sorry for that ending. I uh, don't know why. Sometimes that happens. Huh. No idea. Oof. Uh, yeah, let's end it then. And let's continue in, uh, hopefully soon. So... Let g let's continue and see how long it's gonna take me to complete this one. We are now in definitely a little bit above two hours, I'm guessing here from I didn't time exactly. So if it is another two hours, that means four hours. Not not super bad, but the speedrun are much much quicker. I think it's is it one hour, maybe less. So really cool to see. But it's just fun here to try to play a good side-scrolling here. Nice Mario game. Trying to just go it fast to see what I, you know, what I can get. If I would have gone from 100%, it would have going to take me uh, quite a lot longer. Like unlock all of the coins and all of the warp points and do all levels. But yeah... I, doing pretty good for not playing this in uh, such a long time so um, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed it that's uh, really nice and we'll continue this definitely because I really I don't know I just got into a Mario Mario mood so yeah thanks again for watching and have a good day